hello guys welcome to another grand interesting video on our behavior channel and in this video we are going to learn about our third default process flow and that is you know processor with operators okay so basically we have already started a series on you know default process flows which are available in this process flow in here that is add an object process flow we have already completed videos on source queue basic processor and these videos are already available on our youtube channel if you haven't watched those videos i would recommend you to please visit our channel page or you can visit our playlist of descriptive and simulation and you can get these videos onto there you can also get those videos available on our premium training modules available on our website beawarechannel.com so you are going to start a very fascinating journey of education and digital technologies just at beaver so do not forget to like our videos share it with your friends teachers colleagues you know your bosses and do not forget to subscribe to our channel okay so if you see here let me dive in to this flexible simulation model which we have created here so we have a source in here we have a basic fr okay and then we are going to have uh, the Q here which is going to be you know applied or used as a buffer and when we talk about this is my operator 1 this is my operator 2 and again we have another basic fr2 which is going to be used for you know uh, acting as a processor in here and then we have a Q available here at this end okay so basic flow is like that is operator 1 will be you know used for setup processing it will be transporting the patch then this another operator is going to be you know used for uh, getting uh, the part processed on this basic fr and then the operator will be transferring the part onto this queue so this is a basic operation uh, but this basic operation can be done by two modes one is conventional method which you do by connecting to the port sender connections and then using it for transports there is another mode of this that is by using default process flow you can do that and if you see an object we have this processor with operator being used okay and here is our process flow which is you know driving this operation which you see in the simulation modeling environment so now we are going to understand each of the elements available in this process flow and we are going to understand what is the function of it, what are the advantages, disadvantages, how is this made functional and lot of different stuffs in this today's video. So stay tuned with us till end of this video to understand in detail about default processor with operators okay and i would you know recommend you that we have a lot of exciting educational blog content available on our website beaverchannel.com where you can get blogs related to your health related to finance personal development industrial engineering simulation technologies and lot of stuffs so do not forget to read our one blog daily which will help you make your memory sharpen and stay updated so now let us learn about this process flow from you know top to bottom so what i'll do is one thing let us do is make this model reset okay and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to first remove the entities available in this okay so that i can you know help you know what are the advantages of this process flow so when i run this the part should now accumulate in the skew only and the things go good now i'll just show you this you know with the uh, working mode so what you can see here is my source is having you know a connection to this basic fr then output to this queue then output to basic fr2 and then we have a output to q2 okay and if you could look at i am going to have this operator here okay this operator is basically going to be used here and if you see I use this transport here so I'm just removing this use transport as of so that we can understand these things in detail 
Now I'm just running this model and what you could see is that I am having these labels only available in this, you know, uh, process that is process item. But I don't see any labels in override use transport thing. Why? Because we'll understand that and you know, the more we go ahead in this video. But first, let us understand the small steps of this. So the first thing, you know, what you need to do is you need to. So this is how the process flow will look like when you, you know import it. So what you need to do is you need to select your visit our website beaverchannel.com. And once you are going to visit our website, beaverchannel.com in a tab of simulation you can visit our tab in simulation and once you come in simulation tab you would be able to see subscription for premium content access here so you just need to select your required premium subscription plan we have it monthly we have it quarterly and we have it yearly so as per your requirement you can purchase a subscription plan and once you have purchased a subscription plan you can come to the training classes page which we have available on our beerchannel.com and once we receive a payment from you we would be sending you a approval email and once you are going to receive a approval email it is just a matter of click you just need to visit a training classes page and once you are going to visit this training classes page you have to just come in below here have you purchased a subscription and you just need to hit a button here paid and upload click to start training if you want to purchase you can purchase it from here we also have a plans listed similar plans which are on the simulation page we also have it on the training classes page you can also purchase the thing by visiting the subscription plans and once you are done with approval you just need to click here and you would be visiting our premium training page and there you would just need to put your login credentials if you have already logged in into your account by signing up or creating an account there is no need for you to sign up again but if you are signed out or you do not have an account you can just click in here or you can also create an account here once you click in here you will be visiting our login page and you are done with the stuffs.